Hi, this is Rebecca Wood with Made Central, and in this video, we're going to describe to you the workflow that is set up on your sales dashboard. So to find your sales dashboard, you're going to go to Dashboards and select Sales Dashboard. From your sales dashboard, you'll see three columns. You'll see the New Leads column, Needs Contacted, and Needs Followed Up. The new leads column will have been for a new lead that's not been contacted yet. This new lead could have been entered by a member of your office staff or come in via the website if you have either the lead capture form or online booking functionality turned up. So this means a new lead comes in and I haven't been in contact with them yet. They'll go through a workflow from needs new lead to needs contacted, meaning I've reached out to them. So the workflow then moves from needs contacted to needs followed up once I've given them a quote. You can see here across your sales dashboard, you have different settings that can be set for each section. So these can be found under your sales dashboard settings. What your sales dashboard settings mean is that I'm going to let the system know how many times I want to attempt to contact someone that needs contacted. So again, this is a lead that I've called or I've sent a text to or an email to, but they haven't replied to me. And so how many times do I want to reach out for the, to them? I can set that max count type here. It can either sort ascending or descending, date ascending or date descending. What that means is either how many times I've contacted them, either one times, two times, three times, four times, or the date that they came in, um, and I can have that show up in date order as well. The next section lets me say I want to contact it more than X hours ago. So, for instance, if I don't want any leads to be on my dashboard for more than 12 hours, I can set 12 as the hours and less than this number of hours. So then again, I'm telling the system that I don't want to go over this many hours before I see them on my dashboard knowing I need to contact them again. So we can set this at 300 hours. Same thing with your follow-up. This is going to be the max number of attempts. This means I've given them a quote and I still want to follow up with them because I haven't closed that sale yet. So again, I can set this number as I see fit. I can sort by the four different options. And then again, I can set my follow-up options to whatever I feel like makes sense for my business and how I want to run my sales team and how they follow up with my leads on my sales dashboard. And those are the three columns for your sales dashboard and where to find your sales dashboard settings. Thank you.